well, let's see. I'm starting to see a couple, a couple different names in here that I recognize. So I see Nito's in the bracket. Three, what else yeah. we got? Uh, I was One, doing some moderation go. earlier, and I did see the fact that uh, Cyro entered the bracket. I don't know how far he got. I don't know where he is, where he is in losers, but he's definitely okay. out there. So, see, so Johnny far, Y is the one that beat Nito. So let's see what this. Uh, you know what? That makes sense. DK can mess up some Shotos. <laughs> yeah, he can. I think. Uh, yeah, he definitely can. I mean, a grappler character that just can give a Shoto a difficult time. Not to mention the fact that like DK's limbs are in fact a type of sword. <laughs> so really sword good with, action. With muscles, so much muscle. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that forward tilt, that forward smash, I've seen that back air, like, it can cause some damage there, but a really good cargo threat we saw earlier, kind of taking advantage of, like, Trash Panda being in that percent, making sure he's going to go ahead and give him an opportunity where it's really difficult for him to escape. Pivot grab, you see, he just scooped up, Trash Panda landed behind him, and it, instead of going for, like, a turnaround, he went for a pivot grab, knowing that he was still going to be in range, still going to allow him to goop up Lucas. And then go for his uh, his extension with like a throw over. Yeah. Okay, really good wind up here. I am seeing trying to go for the recovery. Really good stuff to for Johnny to actually kind of stay on the stage, wait for the reaction. DK's recovery isn't the greatest, right? So his head guard opportunities aren't going to be that great. Down tilt to forward smash. If I don't know anybody else from up to aside from the from Mars who does that. Definitely gonna be trash time as a demonstrates and up smash afterwards. Really good stuff for Johnny. Reach. Kind of the Why did yeah. that reach though? Did you see that? I'm talking he was so man. far away. Those he got tipped, tipped by the tip of the hair. Those arms are swords, man. It's not fair. God. This character is not okay. He's not. And people are like, DK sucks. And I was like, I'm glad he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he, ha he has enough. <laughs> he has enough. Man. Don't tell me this character was fair and poor, man. Like, the fact that DK was just able to run over Lucas... It should, it should make a statement, like, that... <laughs> like, I know Lucas isn't exactly top tier in this game, but he has a lot of, like, keep-away tools. And DK just ignored majority of them. And it, it ran into his face. Yeah. And it's really difficult for Trash Panda to, in that stage that he was, which is Smashville. I was about to say, like, my island name, but hey, Smashville. It can be difficult because you would think Lucas wants that, that small space to actually, like, use the projectiles and use Zare, use Neutral Air, use PK Fire to have a smaller space to give DK a little bit of a run for his money. But in reality, that's the worst way to have it, right? It's because it's a smaller stage, DK has a bigger playing field. And I mentioned his arms are swords. Like, that extends that tenfold, and the smaller stage work worse for Lucas. So we'll see which stage choice, uh, choice can definitely change things out. I don't even think Battlefield is good against DK either, because he could definitely just extend that time where he can go for a car throw into up air. Um, if I'm Trash Panda, I'm picking... Town and City, I'm picking Final Destination, oh, definitely. I'm picking Kalos, just get away, and I'm spamming jump, short hop side B. I am putting as much distance in between us, and while throwing projectiles, it's lame, it, it forces Johnny to have to approach and continuously be on the chase, but that's how I'm gonna win. Like, that's, that's, that is the winning strategy for Trash Panda. It's just, is he going to do it? Or yeah. is he going to, like, try and go up? DK does get shield poked very easily, so maybe we will see him like whittle down the shield a little bit with some side Bs, and then try and shield poke with Nair into some combos. That's also an option he has. But at the same time, I want the easy W. I'm sure hop inside Bean. Pew, pew, exactly. pew, eat this PK fire. <laughs> Stay away from me, you oversized gorilla. <laughs> but really good stuff though, on nonetheless for like Johnny T in game one, I mean, we can see why he beat Nito. And like you mentioned, I, we both mentioned earlier, like a grappler character can give the character that are like the Shotos. And of course, I, will, I would definitely say more of the, uh, the FGC characters, a bit of a run for their money because like they have enough, he has enough space with forward air, back air, forward tilt, forward smash. You saw that earlier, right? Up smash has been having ridiculous range. Like, he has a, a, a little bit of a range, but also the weight to complement that and the ability to have a really good cargo throw that can give him a tough time. Grapplers can it be works. tough to deal with. 
Let's find out where we're going. We are, in fact, going to Final Destination. And what is the strategy going to be for, for Trash Panda? Okay, maybe he's listening to the stream because I'm seeing a lot more projectiles coming out. <laughs> yeah. Or... I, okay, I okay. cautiously optimistic with that PK freeze, but PK fire in the beginning was definitely good to start off with. I mean, think about the risk reward though. If he's able to land a PK freeze, that's gonna put DK really far off stage, and then he's gonna able to shark with PK thunder. Yeah. I, I see the idea, but at the same time, I don't know if, if DK just weaves around the PK freeze, it could be one dead Lucas. Oh, that was close. Oh, he got caught again. <laughs> yeah, that's so uh, bad. No. <laughs> oh, PK freeze, uh, right? Just like that. Get off me. Get away yeah, from me. <laughs> He's gotta watch out. I mean, it's really good off stage because Lucas can definitely make a recovery from there. But on stage, I would definitely be more cautious than after this. Like, really good neutral to kind of bring him out of the stage here. This could be a back air setup from Johnny or a wait on the stage. See, and I'm, and I'm seeing Johnny come with a couple aerials and opportunities with jumps out of the ledge. I would be a little bit more careful because the way that Trash kind of is understanding his jump from the ledge has been costing him percent and even costing the stock as we saw out there. Like one tool that Trash Panda could utilize that he hasn't quite yet is actually going for re-grabs. Because re-grabs were, like, since they got punished, like, so often in the previous- WHAT?! WHAT?! <laughs> oh, I what? think- I don't- I don't know if he let go of shield, or if that was some kind of shield poke, and if it was a shield poke, that is the first thing I've ever seen of it, because it should have been a shield broke. But Trash Panda could go for a re-grab at the- I'm done. I'm done. I I'm watching the delay. Wow, he I'm just done. really, he just really <laughs> let him get it. No shield. No wind no up spot needed. Dodge. Just yeah. <laughs> no shield. No spot dodge. Man, if Charlie was here, he would say there's no skill. And then we saw him lose. Wow. So Trash Panda could have gone for like re-grabbing the ledge because uh, there wouldn't have been like too big of a punish. Usually, the first time you do it, your opponent isn't able to react to you. So, yeah. that is a, an option he has. I can't believe we just saw.